Techno Smart Bites. Low Earth Orbit, LEO, satellites are placed at altitudes below 2,000 km above the Earth's surface. They are used for a variety of applications such as communication, navigation, remote sensing, and Earth observation. The design of a LEO satellite is closely tied to its orbit, which determines its visibility and accessibility from the ground. In this video, we will discuss the technical details of LEO satellite orbits and their impact on the design and functionality of these satellites. One of the most common types of LEO orbits is the polar orbit. In a polar orbit, the satellite passes over the Earth's poles and is visible from a wide swath of the Earth's surface. This type of orbit is often used for remote sensing applications, such as weather forecasting and Earth observation. Satellites in polar orbit have an inclination angle of around 90 degrees, which means they cross the equator at a right angle. This type of orbit provides global coverage, but with less frequent passes over a specific location. Another common type of LEO orbit is the sun-synchronous orbit. In a sun-synchronous orbit, the satellite passes over the same location at the same local solar time each day. This type of orbit is often used for remote sensing applications that require consistent lighting conditions, such as mapping and monitoring vegetation. Sun-synchronous orbits have an inclination angle between 98 to 120 degrees, and an altitude of about 600 to 800 kilometers. This type of orbit provides consistent lighting conditions for Earth observation, but it has a limited coverage area. Low Earth orbits are also used for near-polar orbits, equatorial orbits, and inclined orbits. Near polar orbits, the satellite will pass over the poles at an angle, typically between 80 and 90 degrees. This can provide coverage for the polar regions but with less frequent passes. Equatorial orbits, the satellite will orbit at a low altitude along the Earth's equator. This type of orbit is useful for applications that require coverage of the equatorial regions. Inclined orbits, the satellite will orbit at a low altitude at an angle relative to the Earth's equator. This can provide coverage of areas that are not visible from a polar or equatorial orbit, but it has a limited coverage area. Another important aspect of LEO satellite orbits is their period of revolution, which is the time it takes for a satellite to complete one orbit around the Earth. LEO satellites typically have a period of revolution of 90 minutes to 2 hours. The altitude of the LEO satellite also affects the duration of visibility. A satellite in a lower altitude will have a shorter duration of visibility, and a satellite in a higher altitude will have a longer duration of visibility. The design of a LEO satellite is closely tied to its orbit. For example, satellites in polar orbits require larger solar panels and batteries to provide power during the long periods of darkness at the poles. Satellites in sun-synchronous orbits require precise attitude control systems to maintain their orientation and provide consistent lighting conditions for Earth observation. In conclusion, LEO satellite orbits are a critical factor in the design and functionality of these satellites. Different types of LEO orbits, such as polar orbits, sun-synchronous orbits, near-polar orbits, equatorial orbits, and inclined orbits, are used for specific applications. The altitude, inclination angle, period of revolution, and duration of visibility are some of the key technical details that determine the capabilities and limitations of LEO satellites. Understanding these technical details is essential for designing, operating, and maintaining LEO satellites effectively. Thanks for watching.